Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So in this video, we will learn how to use this faker.js. So what it does, it try to generate massive amounts of fake data in the browser. So in this case, we will be using with the React uh, JS, and uh, we will also learn how to use this uh, material UI. We will install this. Uh, also, uh, we try to use the uh, component from this library as well. And without further ado, let's get started. First thing first, let's just install this library. So to install this library, uh, very easy. Just uh, go to your uh, React directory and uh, enter this command, uh, npm install material.ui slash core. Uh, once you install this, then uh, you just need to import this. So in this case, this is the uh, button uh, from the material UI uh, slash core. And uh, this one right here, this is just uh, how we uh, use the library inside the uh, function itself. So now let's just um, quickly show you here. So this is uh, after installing the library, uh, what I have import is the text field as well as the button. So um, the material UI slash call slash uh, text field and this is the button. So um, once you import this uh, right here, I have imported some of the uh, text field just uh, for the example, having like uh, the first name, last name, job title, uh, street address, and uh, country, phone number, and also email as well. And down here, we got a submit uh, button. And uh, it does nothing. So uh, right here, let's just uh, quickly show you what it is uh, inside the browser. And I also have this align in the center here as well with the height of uh, 40 uh, view height. So uh, this is what it looks like right now. Uh, first name, last name, and everything. So uh, what are we going to do next is to basically uh, come here and install this library. Then um, whatever that you can see, say like uh, the first name, last name, then uh, let me just quickly also show you what type of data that we can get from this here as well. Uh, so here, you can see that uh, they have different type of data. So in this case, this is like the address. So with the address, we can have like zip code, uh, we have street, street name, uh, street uh, address, uh, country. You can see here, country code here as well. Uh, we also got like, uh, this is for the uh, commerce, uh, like having as a department, a price, uh, a lot more, and company with the company name, and a database. So we got column type, and this is data, uh, the date. Uh, it can be in the past or future between. And uh, this is uh, finance. So finance, we got like the account name, uh, amount. Uh, we got a lot more. And this is Git, uh, hacker, uh, helper, image. So we also have the image here as well. It can be the uh, normal image or avatar, the smaller image. And um, we got here people, nature, sport, a lot more internet. And um, this is just some uh, dummy data, like uh, the random generated data. And uh, here, this is the name. Uh, we got the first name, last name. So we will use this one here. And uh, we got um, job title here as well. Uh, this is the title and phone number. This is just a uh, random uh, number, float, Boolean words. Uh, image, system, time, there's a lot more you can see here. So now, let's just uh, quickly install this uh, library. I uh, just click on this copy and go back to my terminal. Let's just uh, terminate this, pressing on the uh, control C. And now let's just uh, paste this and install it inside the um, React application. Right, this has been installed. Let's start the uh, application again. Okay, so here it's starting, and let me just uh, quickly show you how to import this. So right here, uh, we got the browser version as well as the um, Node or JS version. Uh, so because of right now we are using the uh, React JS, so now let's just uh, go back and we can just import it like this. So faker from faker, just like that. Okay, so now uh, once we have that and how are we gonna use it? So you can see that uh, to get the uh, data, we just need to use the faker dot whatever category that it's in, then uh, dot and uh, just call it as like a function. 
so um, this is what we get uh, the first one we got here is the uh, first name and last name so uh, we need to find that data so let's say first name right here it's under the uh, name category and it's this one here the first one so uh, just go back here and then um, I need to also uh, use this uh, right now just one example the label I just call it directly here so open this and then uh, faker dot name dot first name and save this let's just go back and have a quick look see we got the data okay so as expected you can see that the data is shown here but this is uh, showing as a label we change that after this so when I refresh this the name it keep changing as you can see here alright so now instead of uh, having us a label uh, what I need to do I can just use like a placeholder or it can be the uh, default value so let's just quickly do that okay so now let me just um, go back to the previous state which is this one right here and uh, let me just first try the placeholder and doing the same thing which is faker dot name first name and let's just have a quick look again and we will also try the uh, default value as I mentioned okay so now when I just uh, click on this you can see that this is the placeholder which is this name here when I refresh this and try it again you will see that the name is changing again so um, let me just uh, try the other one which is the uh, default for while you which is right here and let's just see this okay so here you can see that uh, when I click on this you can see the name is directly appear here uh, without having uh, as this one because this one doesn't have any value and that's why it's showing this uh, label first but for this one when I try to refresh every time we see is the uh, default value and it keep changing as you can see here so um, it depends on uh, what uh, you want to uh, display to your user but for this one here you can see that I have to manually uh, remove this uh, which is a little bit different from the placeholder so now let me just uh, go back and try to use the placeholder for the others here as well and see you guys once I uh, finish adding all of this okay so I have finished adding all of this so you can see that we have last name here job title the address coming from this address and this is the uh, country and uh, the last two which is the um, the phone number and the other one which is the uh, email let now just uh, take a look here uh, so when I try to uh, press on one of these you can see that this is the uh, placeholder for the first name this is the last name job title and uh, this is the uh, street address uh, the country and here this is the phone number and as well as the uh, the email as you can see here so when I try to refresh this the value is going to change and this is a new data again and with the phone number so if you notice you can see that the phone number uh, format it keep changing and this is the uh, email let me just uh, quickly show you again for the phone number you can see that this is in this format and when I try to refresh this is in uh, some of them keep changing so you can see this is another format and right here so um, now we have uh, finished all of this and we have all of the value and the uh, country the name here so um if you want to try out uh, you can just use any of this uh, there's a lot of information here so uh, we've done the first part what about the next part let me just um, quickly show you what are we going to do with this let's just click on the get started and now let's just uh, click on the components go down a little bit and try to find the let's see where the card is so here this is it the surface okay so here uh, we have the card format and right here this is the uh, one of the example and we got the media so um, let me just uh, show you probably this one right here so when I click on the show the code um, you can see we have all of the code so since we already installed the uh, material UI uh, slash core uh, the library then uh, we can just import this directly 
So I uh, just want to quickly show you uh, what type of image it's going to show if you use this uh, uh, library. Okay, so now let me just uh, copy everything from this part. So we got the button here as well. Okay, so just copy that. And uh, what I need to do, let me just... Um, okay, let's just keep this for now, okay? Um, let me just comment this part right here. Until here. And just paste everything. So the button, we already got it here as well. Remove this part, so it'll be fine. And then uh, the card. Okay, Faker looks good. And the next one is the this part right here. Just copy the U star with the uh, maximum width and also the media. This is the image uh, height. Let's just uh, paste it right here. And the other one, which is the, we use this uh, U star as a class in this variable. So it should be staying here. And also this part, which is the card up until here. Let's just, um, okay, let's just paste it right here. Save it. So everything looks good. So right here, the image, uh, we don't have the image at the moment. Uh, let's just keep it as is and um, the card uh, content and this is the description the button here is the uh, share as well as the uh, learn more okay so now let's just um, take a look okay so here it is um, we got a share we got learn more the image is not showing as expected okay so now let's just um, quickly change the value so what I need to do, I need to just uh, look for the image. Search for image. It's inside the random. Uh, let's see what else. Or oh, it can be here as well. Image dot image. Okay, so um, let me just go back and then try to uh, get rid of this part and use uh, faker dot image dot image. So we got this. The title let's just uh, put it as is for now okay let's just go back here okay so here you can see that we got the image shown we got this we will also change this one here as well so right here I think uh, I might want to change the uh, height of the image so from 140 let's just change it to 240 and uh, let's see what kind of data that we're going to show next is um, we got a lot so in the couple of the last video uh, we mainly focus on like uh, creating the compound interest uh, calculator uh, we have some information regarding like fixing um, a uh, ASX like the uh, stock market value and stuff. So um, let's just uh, get into the this part here as well, uh, the finance, and then uh, let's see maybe account name, and for the description it can be the amount and transaction description okay so now let's just uh, go with the uh, finance dot uh, account name so scroll down this part right here just um, remove this faker dot finance dot account name and then uh, for this part going to be the description in this case uh, let me just use the Faker dot uh, finance again, and this one here. This is the amount. Okay, and let's just um, use this one for now, and let's just take a look. Okay, so here it is. Uh, it refreshing. Uh, we got the account name and also with the uh, the uh, amount here as well. And uh, let me also see if we have. Okay, currency symbol is right here as well. 
So let's just uh, put this faker dot finance dot currency symbol like that. Let's try this again. So here we have the symbol, and when I try to refresh, um, you may asking that uh, this is uh, all about the finance things, but uh, the image is showing. So again, this is just for an example. Let me just refresh this, and then uh, we have the checking account with this uh, currency symbol in front. So this is dollar sign. Uh, what else? Still dollar sign. But the value is keep changing, as you can see here, as well as the image on top here as well. And um, this is another one. So we got uh, a lot of information to play with, um, like the data that is um, generated uh, for testing purpose. So um, what about next one? Uh, here we have um, the Bitcoin address. We have the all of the information here as well. So. Um, we also got the credit card uh, number. Let me just uh, quickly try that one here. So instead of okay, let's just uh, replace this part, and then I quickly show you here. So here we have the uh, account um, number, and it's quite useful using this one here. Can also see that it's quite popular. Uh, for the weekly downloads and stuff and uh, let's see for the image uh, we also got the uh, avatar and uh, is there any specific like uh, the people the sport and the so for the image uh, I guess yeah we have uh, another place which is random uh, dot image but um, you get the idea it's like uh, how we going to use this uh, uh, library it's very straightforward uh, simple to use and i hope you learn how to use this uh, library and also how to install this uh, material ui as well from google and if you have any question just let me know in the comment section below and see you guys in the next video